Welcome back to Tiny Mike Interviews at DEF CON 31. Today we have Rachel here, uh, and we're at the Hackasat contest like, yes. area. Yep. So tell me about this project, because you were telling me before that this has been happening, I've been in the works for four years. Exactly. Yep. So a little bit of history. We have been at DEF CON with the Aerospace Village. We're kind of in conjunction this year and happy to be here with them. Um, so in years past, we have run a CTF, a qualification event, and a finals event. However, what's exciting this year is not only are we live in person for our CTF finals, we have our teams in front of us, we also have an orbiting satellite for Hackasat 4. And so that has been the biggest change from year one to four. We've been in a, a four-year iteration of design, build, break, and we are finally breaking because we have a satellite to hack out there on orbit and that's really really exciting for us so this is the actual satellite that's in orbit this is the model of the, the model. actual satellite yes yep so moonlighter as we call it is a 3u cube set it is out in leo orbiting in space our teams are communicating that through our game ops and satellite ops behind me um, and this is quite literally how it looks how it designed the camera on top the wings on the side for the solar panels this is quite literally as real as it gets so why are they actually hacking what's the end goal of this ctf of this competition sure. yeah so these teams the five teams that are here with us today they competed in quals they placed in the top five they came here today to quite literally have the ability to contact the satellite send commands up receive commands back down and that's ultimately how they're being scored we do have some ground station challenges but for the most part this is a space ctf the first of its kind and so they are sending things up to the satellite, waiting for their information to come back down and see how it goes. Um, things like taking pictures with the satellite, um, you know, anything orbital mechanics, you name it, we tried to involve it, include it, and the team's so far so good. I mean, that sounds so cool. So they are actually hacking on a live satellite right now that's in space yes. in low earth orbit low earth orbit so we um we were launched in june out of florida on the spacex 28 mission where that was an iss resupply in july we have a nice video we shot out of the iss as it was out in space to get into our own orbit so the bird went off um, we were able to get live footage of that and so we've been up in space now about a month on our own things are going really well knock on wood um, and so, yeah, so the teams, the communicating with that satellite, a lot of the visuals in here and what the teams are really focused on are contact windows. So we have times that we're on contact and then, you know, some, some downtime where they're getting all their calculations and doing all of all of the smart things that it takes to complete a CTF. And then those those contact windows are very crucial for our game. Someone was saying, how often is the contact window? So there is a schedule that the teams have, and that is what we're projecting up here. It changes each day. So it's never it's never the same each day, but we have pretty good contact windows today. We did decide to extend the game time to utilize the contact windows today, sur um, surrounding our game hours, and tomorrow 10 to 6 were our best contact windows again, and so we'll utilize those. Now behind the scenes in the dark tonight, our teams, all of our ops teams will still be utilizing contact windows, making sure our scoring, all the data coming you know, up and down from that is still in progress and going well. What's your favorite task that they have to execute in this season? Oh man, um, my favorite task is definitely the, the picture taking. The picture I think taking. for us, it's the most tangible. You get something down that anybody can digest and understand that these guys and what they're doing, that's that's literally cause and effect. Um, and so that's really exciting for us. They're so in the zone. And for <laughs> the people who are watching at home, is there anything you'd love to let them know about? Yeah, so honestly, at home, just because you're home doesn't mean you're missing out. Yeah. So hackasat.com, we have quite literally all the information that we are sharing is there. Our scoreboard is live. It's ever-changing. Um, a lot of our tracking is on there as well. Our website is full of knowledge. And what's really fun is after this is over, Give us a little bit of time, but all of the challenge, all of the solvers, it's all posted on GitHub through our really? website. So folks can digest it. You can pretend like you were here and try it yourself and see if you, know, if you weren't super good at it. Look at the solvers. Look at what we put out there and learn. And we would love for people to do that. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much Absolutely. for taking the time out of your busy schedule. Thank you for having us here. Um, this is awesome. Definitely check out the website. What's yes, the website again? Hackasat.com. That's awesome. So thank you so much thank for this. You. It's great this to is see awesome. You. Yes.